Guys, do you also have a small penis? If so, comment below and list how long it is actually is. According to study, most men are on average just 5.5 inch. Then how come some of my friends that I talk to have like 7, 6 and above and 7 and above and also very thick like like a flashlight or something. Therefore, for a while, I thought I had a, I have a small ding ding dong. A girl told me I was big for an Asian. How many guys have you been with to come to that conclusion? But she had only been with Asian guys mo mostly. How does she, how can she conclude that I am big for an Asian but not globally? Look at this penis expert. Look, Caucasian male length measurement. Okay, according to different study, there are different result for the average. Okay, like Canada, Toronto, three point seven. Oh my God, UK, five point one, etc., etc. Okay, Asian study. Okay, according to one study, is three point eight inches, but the rest are more normal, reflecting a global average. Okay, black. The only one study found is 5.3 inches. Look, red lid. This according to this expert guy on uh, penis length, who's very obsessed with finding the truth about um, penis length. Firstly, because my closest Asian friend and I, so he's also Asian. No wonder he became an expert in that to debunk all the myth. Okay, and I have penis that vary from 5.5 to 6.3 inches properly measured. Secondly, because I've seen American European porn from the 70s and 80s and they all have thick that no look no different than mine. Or those you see in Japanese porn. When you see Japanese sex education movie, you see that they are very alive. They have very much like pouncing and pouncing and pouncing but western porn is like big but feel plastic and limp it's like this you have to go slow like uh e uh e so slow and lack potency you know you, you don't get the boom 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 ding 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 you see from asian educational movie okay because you know that the G spot is only two inch deep, so by going ding 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 ding, you repeatedly hitting it. It's like flute ninja, like ching 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 ching, and then ultimately all the juice spill out and ching. The ding ding dong size actually affect female sexual pleasure. Fifty percent of the total. Sample said they never had orgasm anyways. So of those who had orgasm, one third said longer is better. Uh, sixty percent of that fifty percent said uh, no difference. It makes no difference. And six percent actually said longer ding ding dong actually make them less likely to climax. So my point is, if you have an average size ding ding dong, don't use the ding ding dong pump, don't take pill, because your nerve ending are fixed. The number of your nerve on your ding ding dong is fixed. You, the the more condensed it is, the more pleasure on it. But the the bigger the bigger it becomes, is it doesn't actually get bigger. I think it is well actually. When you stretch it with, with exercise and kung fu, then but the the nerve might 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 numb or died, or even if the nerve doesn't have problems, you are just spreading the nerve like further out when you enlarge the ding ding dong. So what's the point? Yeah, just stick with the normal one that you are born with. But if you have Erectile dysfunction, something like that, Dick Kung Fu can actually cure it, I think. Like for example, train it to stand for 30 minutes at a time. Make it stand, like do like, uh, 
Huh. Oh, you touch my tra la la. Like the, the kung fu stuff. Yeah, I think it would definitely increase the stamina. By making it stand up, it means keep it re erected. So to exercise the muscle and keep them strong by using them more. Because if you always trying to do the quick draw like pew pew, right? Then there's no reason for those muscles to become strong, to sustain a long erection. Also look into your diet, which is another whole other topic. I will talk about high protein diet because I feel like most men are not getting enough proteins, even women. Yeah, most men and women don't get enough proteins these days. So guys, this is it. If you want to get more health tips for your ding ding dong and relationships and follow my adventure because I already had some footage recently this week when I go out and met some beautiful girls and some adventure yeah subscribe to my email uh, list and also click notification button when you subscribe to my channel also I'll see you